English is an international language and is understood all over the world. In fact, in today's world, speaking English has become a necessity. Moreover, with the globalization of trade, commerce, and new avenues of employment in BPOs and multinational companies, the importance of fluent spoken English has grown immensely, being the international link language. Most of the people lack the requisite skills in the spoken English while conversing in different situations in day-to-day -day life. The proper grasping of the model conversation is illustrated ahead that will help you immensely to overcome the weaknesses. The objective of this session is to make you speak English without fear or hesitation and without any grammatical errors. Introducing yourself. When you are introducing yourself to other people, you would use your first name in informal circumstances. Now, let us observe some examples of introducing yourself. Situation 1 Hello, my name is David. What's your name? Rosie. Where are you from, Rosie? I'm from New Delhi. Where are you from? I am from Toronto. Are you a Canadian? Yes, I am. Are you an Indian? Yes, I am. Situation 2 Hello. Hi. My name is Kabir. What's your name? My name is Jackie. What are you studying? B.E. Where are you from? I am from Mumbai. And you? I am from Bangalore. Hello and goodbye. All of these greetings are used in formal situations when we might say, How do you do? in English or meeting people who we don't know particularly well. Now, observe the following conversation. Hello, Lucky. How are you? Fine. Thanks. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Where are you going? I am going for lunch. Okay, carry on. Bye-bye, Rohan. Have a nice day. Thanks. Telling the time. These conversations are useful to tell the time in a polite manner when somebody asks time. Conversation 1. Excuse me, can you tell me the time, please? Yes, of course. It's 5 o'clock. Thank you. No problem. Conversation 2. What time is it? 3. Thanks. Personal information. This conversation is useful when you are giving full information about you in a short manner. See the following example. What's your surname? Family name. Dikshit. What's your first name? Robin. Where are you from? Cannot place. New Delhi. What's your job? I'm a professor. What's your address? 12 Connaught Street. What is your phone number? 5063-5875. How old are you? 30. Are you married? Yes, I am. Shopping. While shopping around, you have to ask the salespersons for the things you have to buy. Ask for its price. Ask for sizes, etc. See the following conversation. Can I help you? Yes. I'm looking for a pullover. What size are you? I'm an extra large. How about this one? Yes, that's nice. Can I try it on? Certainly. There's the changing room over there. Thank you. How does it fit? It's too large. Do you have a large? Yes, here you are. Thank you. I'll have it, please. Okay. How would you like to pay? Do you accept credit cards? Yes, we do. Visa, MasterCard and American Express. Okay, here's my Visa card. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Goodbye. At the airport. In the airport, 
at the time of checking in and passport check. Conversations look like in the following manner. Observe the following conversations. At the time of checking in, the conversation may be as follows. Good morning. Can I have your ticket, please? Here you are. Thank you. Would you like smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking, please. Would you like a window or an aisle seat? An aisle seat, please. Do you have any baggage? Yes, this suitcase and this carry-on bag. Here's your boarding pass. Have a nice flight. Thank you. At passport check, the conversation may be as follows. Good morning. Can I see your passport? Here you are. Thank you very much. Are you a tourist or on business? I'm a tourist. That's fine. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you. Asking for directions. We can use a number of language expressions to perform the function of asking for and giving directions. Let us see some examples of conversations giving directions. Conversation 1. Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Yes, there's a bank on the corner. Thank you. You're welcome. Conversation 2. Excuse me, is there a shopping mall near here? Yes, there's one near here. How do I get there? At the traffic lights, take the first left and go straight on. It's on the left. Is it far? Not really. Thank you. Don't mention it. Getting a room in a hotel. When you go to a hotel and ask for the room for a night, the conversation may be as follows. Good evening. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like a room for the night. Would you like a single room or a double room? A single room, please. How much is the room? It's 1,000 bucks per night. Can I pay by credit card? Certainly. We take Visa, MasterCard and American Express. Could you fill this form, please? Do you need my passport number? No. Just an address and your signature. Here you are. Here's your key. Your room number is 324. Thank you. If you need anything, dial 0 for the reception area. Thank you. Have a good stay. Ordering a meal. In a hotel, when we order a meal, the conversation may look like as follows. Observe the following conversation. Hi. How are you doing this afternoon? Fine, thank you. Can I see a menu, please? Certainly. Here you are. Thank you. What's today's special? Grilled chicken and cheese on rye. That sounds good. I'll have that. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I'd like lemonade. Thank you. Here you are. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? No, thanks. I'd like the bill, please. That'll be 250 bucks. Here you are. Keep the change. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Talking about profession. Almost at every introduction, people ask us what we do. In response to this question, we talk about our profession or the organization we work for. Let us observe the following conversation. Hi, I am John. Hi, I am Kavita. What do you do, Kavita? I am a software analyst in an information technology company and develop computer software. When did you join this company? I joined this company eight years ago. What type of company is yours? Ours is a multinational company. How many people are working there? There are about 150 people working. What is the annual turnover? The annual turnover is about 90 crores. Does your company have any branches? Yes, one in Gurgaon and one in Bangalore. Where is the head office? The head office is in Mumbai.
Activities at home. At office, we work. Well, at home, our activities are varied. Let's now see a conversation about activities at home. Normally, when do you get up? At five. Why do you get up so early? I have to cook. My son leaves for school at 6.45 a.m. At 6.45? When does his school start? At nine. Then why does he leave so early? He has to. The school is far away and the bus picks him up at 6.45. When does he return? By five. What do you do in the afternoons? I read books or watch TV. Don't you have a nap? No, I don't. If I have, I get a headache. When do you have your lunch? Usually, I have it about one o'clock. Do you cook twice a day? No, only once. For supper, we have only snacks and fruits. Permissions. Expressions beginning with can, may and could are usually used for asking permission. There are also other more polite expressions using more words to ask for the permission. Asking for permission denotes a question at the time of asking permission from boss. The conversation may be as follows. Excuse me, sir. May I come in? Of course. How can I help you? Yes, I am unwell. I want to go to the doctor. What's the matter with you? I am running a high temperature and have breathing difficulty. Well, you may go now and get well soon. Thank you, sir. Here is my leave application. Bye. Bye. Take care. At the time of asking permission from boss to go early, the conversation may be as follows. Could I possibly interrupt, ma'am? It's urgent. Go ahead. I wonder if you would mind if I leave one hour early? I need to meet my mother from hospital. Of course not. You may go early today. Thank you very much, ma'am. Do you require anything else? Nothing as of now, ma'am. Bye. Past experience. To ask about one's past experiences, we use the following language expressions. They start either with did and you or have you ever. Let us see some examples. Conversation 1. I saw you in your dad's car this morning. Are you learning to drive, Amit? No. I had a puncture and my dad gave me a lift. Did you know that Tina is taking driving lessons? No, I didn't. But driving lessons are pretty expensive, I know. She has learned, practiced and she's applied for her license. That's good because it usually takes a longer time to do all these. Conversation 2 Did you post that letter? Oh no, I forgot. John I asked you to make sure you posted it. You know that was a letter for application for a job in England. It's all right. I did post it. I was only kidding. John, you make me cross sometimes. How much was the postage to England? It was 60 bucks for the first 25 grams. Was my letter overweight? I don't suppose it was. No. It was just less than 25 grams. Did you ask when it would reach England? Yes, they said it would in five days. Likes and dislikes. There are many situations in our day-to-day -day life wherein we have to talk about our likes and dislikes. Here in this conversation, a mother is telling the likes and dislikes of her daughter. Let us see her conversation. My daughter Monica is a peculiar girl of her age. She is only six. She doesn't like ice creams. She doesn't like dolls. She likes books. She likes our dog Maggie. She doesn't like going to school, but she likes playing teacher.
She likes her grandma's place, where there is a nice garden about the house. She likes people who tell her a lot of stories. Apologizing. You apologize when you have committed a mistake or when something bad has happened to someone or when you have done something wrong or upset someone. See the following conversation. I am sorry. I don't mean to hurt you. It's okay. Sorry, I am late. That's okay. I've forgotten your DVD. Sorry. No problem. Bring it tomorrow. I am really sorry. I've broken your CD. You should have been careful. I am very sorry that you didn't get the job. I thought I would get it. Well, it's okay now. At the flea market, this dialogue focuses on a customer bargaining with a vendor at a flea market. In this situation, the conversation may be as follows. Hello, ma'am. What can I do for you today? This is quite lovely. Where was it made? Oh, I see you have excellent taste. Yes, that is beautiful, isn't it? It's the local pottery. I think it was painted here by a local artist. It's really something. Do you have anything else by this artist? Well, I'm not really sure who exactly painted which pieces of pottery, but here are some similar pieces. No, they're really not the same. Well, how about these here? I had them brought in just this morning. Yes, those are quite nice. What about the prices? Obviously, it depends on what you would like to buy. That plate that you were first looking at costs 50 bucks. 50 bucks? That's quite dear. I can't afford that. Remember, these are hand-painted pieces of pottery. That kind of handicraft work doesn't come cheaply. Yes, I understand that. But I really think that 50 bucks is just too much. Listen, I can see that you are in love with that plate. Let's just make it 45 bucks. I'd really like you to take that home with you. How about 35 bucks? I really can't go any higher than that. I really can't. I mean, that would be selling at cost. Well, 38 is absolutely the most I can spend. All right. I really shouldn't. The artist is going to have me put out of business for selling his wares at such low prices. Come, come. Let's not exaggerate. You're a clever one, aren't you? I'm just someone who pays close attention to what I spend. There's no shame in that. Here you are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a pleasant day. Asking for advice. Often we seek advice from others about what we should do or say. Sometimes friends and people come to us seeking advice. What expressions do we use in such situations? Let's see. What, Rohan? You look so disturbed. I've passed my higher secondary exams. I want to study further, but my father wants me to take up a job. I don't know what to do. There must be a reason for your father asking you to take up a job. Is there any financial problem at home? I think so. My father is retiring this month. Then I think you should take up a job. What your family now needs is your support. I agree, but I can't ignore my future. Look, Rohan, your father needs rest. You should give him moral support. You need not ignore your future. What's your aim? To pursue your studies, isn't it? Yes. Well, you can do it. Join the correspondence course. There are many universities offering courses for various degrees. Which is better, Amita? Regular degree course or correspondence course? What you need is a degree, isn't it? Either will do. Thank you, Amita. I feel greatly relieved. Thanks for your advice. I can study and help my family at the same time. A busy day. Two friends speaking in a park. 
when they meet each other jogging. In this situation, the conversation may be as follows. Hi, Rosie. How are you today? I'm great. And you? Very busy. I'm jogging now, but later I have to do a lot. What do you have to do? Well, first of all, I have to do some shopping. We don't have anything to eat at home. And then? Little Johnny has a basketball game this afternoon. I am driving him to the game. Oh, how is his team doing? They are doing very well. Next week, they are traveling to Toronto for a tournament. That's impressive. Well, Johnny likes playing basketball. 